Hello guys and welcome back. In this tutorial we will learn about bond services and how to create one. So what is a bond service? In a nutshell a bond service is a service that allow other component such as an activity to send request, receive response and perform inter-process communication. So with this type of service we can easily interact with it and perform different action. So we gain a client server setup in our application. So this type of service is useful when we want to give user the control of the components in the service. For example, a user plays audio in the background. When we enter the app, we want to allow the user to pause or stop the audio. Now let's see how we can create a bond service. So we will create a progress box that will update after every second, mimicking a file downloading. Now without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now here we can just create a new coding class. And we can come here to create a new coding class or file and we are just going to call this bond service. Now this class is going to inherit from the service class and here we are just getting uh, an error. We can just press Ctrl I to implement this method and here we have the onBind method. So in the last videos we did not pass anything inside this method onBind method here. We return null. If you have not seen how to create a background and foreground services you can just check the video in the card above here or you can just get it in the link in the description box below. Now the onBind method here is just the only method which we are required to implement if we want to bind a method from the activity to the services. So you can have a service which is going to be started services. When I'm saying a started services is a service that is going to execute from the on start command but when we want to bind the method we can just call this on bind method here and bind the method to the activity so instead of returning here now we can just create an inner class that is going to help us to bind this method okay now let's create here a retro room and we can just implement here an inner class and we can call this my binder and this class must implement the binder and inside here now we can provide the method which can be easily used inside the inside the activity so and this method here is going to return at bound service so we are going to return this service here so when we go to the main activity we can access this service here and use it and for that case here now we can just create a new so in case here we are just creating our new binder and now we can just return here the binder and we can just remove this because we don't want them to be null and here we can just call this to be intent okay now let's create here a method that is going to mimic a file is going to be downloading so we can just create here a function that is going to get us the progress and this function here is going to return a flow now we can just create here a variable this one is going to be our progress and for the first time this one is going to be 0f and now here we can just return and we can create here a new flow and for this case here now we can just come and use a while loop. Now here we can just reinitialize our progress and we can increase. And for that case here now we can just delay this to mimic here this is going to be downloading. 1000 milliseconds which is going to be equal to 1 second. And here we can just emit our value and here we can just emit the progress. Now for this case here we have our method which is going to be executing inside the, the main activity here. So we are going to get this method and then we execute it inside the main activity. Okay now let's see how we can easily connect our main activity to the service. Now we can just come here to our main activity and inside here we can just create several variables which we are going to need them. So first we can create here a rate init variable and this one we are just going to call um, service. And after that here now we can just create the variable. And this one is going to be false by default. So this one is going to check if our service is going to be bound or not. And for that case here now we can create another variable which is going to give us the connection. And 
now inside here we can implement these two method so this method here is going to tell us if the service is going to be connected or not and for this case here now we can just initialize here variables so we can just get the binder so we can just rename this to be a binder and here to be a class name and we can use this to be as our bond service my binder so for this case here now we can just change this for example here to our service and now here we can initialize our service so we can just get this service dot get service now for our case here now we can just easily get here our service and we can set the m bound here to be equal to true and now here our service is just going to be bound and we are setting this to true and here we can just set the m bound equals to false so if by any means that our service is going to be disconnected from our component we can just get this on service disconnected called and then we can just set this m bond to force so that we can avoid our application to crash okay now we have everything in place we can just come here and create our ui so we can just delete this because we don't need it and create here a little room so we can just create here a box So first here we can create a button which is going to invoke the activity in order to get the progress and for here we can just call this text and this one we are just going to call this downloading. And we can align this to the top. So for this case here now we have our button and here we can just create our progress. We can just create here a linear progress indicator. And here basically we have to pass in a float which is just going to be in terms of, prog of float. Now we can just create here a variable that is going to hold up our state. And here we can just create a variable which is going to hold up the scope because a flow is just going to be executed inside a curatin. So we can just call this remember curatin scope. Now we can just come here to inside our on click method and we can just check if this is going to be bound. So we can just call this m bound. If this one is going to be true, then we can just use the scope. And now here we can just use the service which we have got. So M service here. And then we can just get prog. And as you can see here, we are just going to get the progress and then we can just collect. And for this case here, if we collect this service here, we can just reinitialize our progress. So basically here we are using that M service and then we are just getting the service and then we are collecting this and then we reinitialize this to what our state here and then inside here we can just pass in our progress. Okay, now everything is in, in place here in terms of our UI. We can just come here and then we want to create, we want to start the actual service and you can just easily start this bond service. So we can just collapse that and create here a little room. Down below here we can just come to our onCreate method and below the onCreate method here we want to override on start. So inside here now we can just when the application is going to start we can just call the intent and start the service. And here we can just pass in the context and here we can just use the bond service which we have created. And also here now we can just call the bind service. And in case here we can just pass the intent which is just going to be referenced by it here. And then we can just pass in the M connection. And then also we can just pass in here the context. We can use here a context dot bind auto create. Now here we are just going to start our service. And then we can just come here to the on stop. And basically here now we can just call an unbind service. 
and here we can pass in the connection which is just the m connection so basically here we are just going to start our service from the on start command and then here we can just call the on stop command which is going to be stopped so this one is just going to be executed when the application is going to be in the foreground so if you want to just create a, a service that is going to run even in the background you can just call the service you can just start this from the on create method here and stop this service or unbind this service on the on destroy but for our case we want to start this on the on start and then we can just destroy this from the on stop command for that case here now we can try to come here now to our manifest file and register our service you can just come here below this application and here you can just pass in the service name and for that case we can just close this manifest file here and try to run our application and see the output okay so when we run our application we are getting this error here this cannot be cast to this type here we can just come here to this place and we can just go to this my binder here and we can just come here to our binder method where we have just declared this variable and as you can see here we are just passing here the binder and not my binder which we have created ourselves so instead of returning here the binder so we have to return my binder here now let's try to rerun again and see okay now let's press this download button here and then it's going to just start here our progress and after every one second it's just going to increase this until it reaches to a hundred percent and after that it's just going to stop and if you want to restart this you can just press this button here and then this download is going to start again so this is just a simple way you can bind a service to an activity so in the next video we will create an audio player app which utilizes almost all aspects of a service so in order to not miss a future video just subscribe and turn on that bell notification and if you find this video helpful please provide a like so see you in the next video bye bye for now